okay, I've had a few days to kind of weigh this whole thing with Tasha K and Cardi B down. Um, I've heard different perspectives of it. There's a lot of people that are going against Tasha K, and there's a few people that actually are neutral, and there's very few people that are actually supporting her. Um, let me just be clear. I am not a fan of Tasha K. I like Cardi B. I think she's dope, but Cardi B is not in my top 10 females. MCs of all time. She's just not. I mean, she's okay. I think her album was a breath of fresh air for female MCs, even though she was pretty much doing what fe most female MCs do. It was just good to hear somebody actually rapping for once instead of just singing and shaking their ass. She actually has some lyrical abilities that I think r reminis r r reminds me of Little Kim, Foxy Brown, E, that era. But anyway, basically, um, I hear, I hear you. I hear what people are saying. The thing that got me was that there's a few things that got me in this situation. One, the fact that Cardi told her not once, not twice, three times to stop. She told her three times to stop. And then she sent the cease and desist. Tasha K said on her own channel that she wipes her ass with that cease and desist. Look, if someone pushes you, you may say, please stop. They push you again. You say, please stop. They push you a third time. Please stop. And then they steal on you. Oh, it's go time after that. She stole on Cardi. It was go time. Now, the problem with this whole situation is that Cardi has a different type of money. This is Big Bank take Little Bank. Now, Tasha K responded to this. And I don't like how she used the black card, the urban card. The, she threw Chicago in there and was saying that the media is selling all this propaganda to the youth. And, but I'm like, ma'am, you are in that same medium. Your money is made from talking about celebrities and you promote drinking wine and getting drunk and you call your fans winos. This is what people don't understand. People don't understand that there's a lot of hypocrisy going on with Tasha K. Now, granted, she's moving on, and I respect the fact that she's continuing and she's not letting this get her down. She posted a new interview. She's even deflecting from the situation, trying to throw shade at Playboy, even though Cardi B had a deal with Playboy, so I guess now we're going to attack Cardi B's money too. But I digress. Playboy is a powerful entity. I'm sure they'll be all right. Plus, Hugh Hefner's dead. Playboy didn't wasn't alleged to molest these women. It was Hugh Hefner. He's dead. His estate's running it. I mean, there's really I don't, I don't see them doing anything. They might even change the name of Playboy. They might call it something else. But um, anyway, what I'm saying is this: y'all don't. A lot of people don't understand what, what comes with the territory of harassing people and defamation of character. You said that she had herpes. You didn't say it was alleged. You said she had herpes. The girl went and got a, a herpes. Do you know how embarrassing that is for someone of her stature to have to go to a clinic or a doctor and sit there, get a test, people seeing her come out of there, and it's just embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? You talked about her daughter not being her father, not being offsets. Come on, man. That's wrong. I mean, if I was to say that your baby ain't your husband's baby, you'd probably be losing your mind and shit, too. That's some. I mean, I know enough about women to know that st there's certain things that just bother them. You know, because you got to think, if someone says, if someone was to say that you had a disease, your husband's going to look at you crazy. Everyone's going to look at you crazy until you can prove them wrong. So you got to understand, she was in a vulnerable place. Then, one thing, one thing that really bothered me, especially working in social work and working with kids and things like that, she said there was no suicide attempt. Look, Tasha, you don't know what it looks like. I don't know what it looks like. There's no de definite look of a suicide person until you either hear it from their mouth or you witness some type of act. You don't know how she felt. She's a person, just like you and me, when we turn these cameras off and these microphones off, we're different people. You know what I'm saying? I might sit here and sound confident on this microphone, but I don't say, when I turn it off, I might be a very low self-esteem individual. And for you to even speak that, that's to me, that's worth canceling. And I'm not even a cancel type of guy. 
I honestly feel like that, for you to say that was very disrespectful, because like I said, you don't know what she went through. You're a mother. You have two kids. Remember what it was like when you had your first child? When you had your first daughter? You know what I'm saying? You may have had postpartum, you may not have. You know what I'm saying? This girl, you don't know what she had. Money doesn't make happiness for, you know, a lot of people don't think that, but it's not that. Money doesn't create happiness. She might still feel like she's not worth shit. She might feel like, damn, am I worth being a mother? You know what I'm saying? Things like that can break someone. You know what I'm saying? She, She's very outgoing and confident, but like I said, once the cameras go off, we don't know what Cardi B is. She can be Cardi B all day long, but eventually, um, Miss... Her real personality is going to come out when those cameras and the microphones are turned away from her. I am very disappointed in Tasha K. I mean, I'm like, I throw my little shade around the internet and everything. I'm goofy as fuck, but I'm very disappointed in her for the simple fact that she allowed it to go this far. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the first, maybe the first time she said no, cool. The second time she said no, cool. But then once the cease and desist came, I would have been done. I think that's that's when you know she's taking it serious. But you wanted the views. You wanted the likes. You wanted the, everything. And then now you're losing sponsors. I think that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You're literally saying, you're doing a ben, what I call a Benzino. You're sacrificing your money so you for clout. And that, a lot of times, may not go your way. You know, you have to understand this is a business. And this business is made to make money. Of course... The machine, as you prefer it, is going to protect their investment. Cardi B has a lot of money in her. Just like if you had somebody backing you, they would be trying to protect you too. That's not strange. If I invest in something and I have a ways and a means to protect it, I'm going to protect it because that's my money. That's my bread and butter. And there's millions of dollars invested in Cardi B right now. And right now she's actually making good with everything she's doing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you literally talk about the girl. You basically said she challenged her to a fight. There's so much stuff you did. And now you're trying to play victim and you're trying to play the black card. Yes, there's a lot of propaganda against our race, but this isn't one of those things. I really think you should chill out and just do your show. Move on. There's no reason for you to even keep going like this. I, I find it disgusting. And I'm a shady motherfucker. I could be shady as hell, but I really don't see how this is how you're winning off of this. I don't understand how you're winning off this. Now I ain't shit. I'm just a newbie in this blogger stuff, blogger space. But I am human, and I understand that some people are, you know, they have feelings, and I don't think that this is a situation where you should be winning off of this at all. I have a lot more to say, but I really don't see a point in it because you're probably not even gonna listen to it anyway. But this is just my perspective of it. Um, even though this is a fan, just a fan's perspective, like I said, I'm not a fan of Natasha K. And after this, I'm probably not going to speak on it no more unless something significant comes out on it. But anyway, y'all have a good day. Peace out.